All right, guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. My name is Ryan. So good to be with you guys again. You know, each and every one of these little dots on the dartboard behind me have the ability to pay renderings through what's called a dividend. In other words, when you own the underlying equity or own the stock outright, uh, typically a dividend will be paid every quarter. Um, some of my stocks that I own, they do pay a monthly dividend, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, in this video, I'm going to update the dividend renderings for January. It was awesome. Um, just over 400 bucks. And uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that um, may be looking to validate why invest. <laughs> um, seeking dividend income is a huge, huge motivator for anybody to look at and say, man, alive, Ryan really hasn't been investing that long. I've been investing my whole life, but I've been, I've been investing correctly for the last few years. And uh, really, the Independent Investor Channel is is the epiphany for me. It is the summit. It's the uh, the ability to come on and, and share what I understand now uh, about what to do, yes, but also what to potentially avoid in investing at all costs. So with that, guys, we'll jump in, conduct the dividend review. Please enjoy. Just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a quick update on the uh, dividend renderings for January. Um, this is something that I like to do for the subsequent month. Um, this is uh, really a cool aspect of the portfolio that gets um, overlooked a lot on social media. I, I, I know that, that everybody wants to you know find that next best thing or next best stock that's going to take them to the moon. Um, but I think dividend income is is a, a very, very valid reason to start investing. So I roll these out to provide you guys what's possible, uh, what a, a portfolio that's um, got the amount of money in it that mine does, how much it can generate. Um, so I always do the bottom line up front for you guys so you can understand what we're looking at here. So four four twenty forty five nothing to shake a stick at you know i mean four hundred dollars a month extra might come in very very handy for for somebody um you know i take and i dividend reinvest all of these dividends but pretty good month uh i i do have months that go by in the year where i'll earn more than a thousand dollars of dividend income so january was uh, a touch light, but a respectable four hundred others. Nonetheless, I'll take it. I, it's a very, very important aspect of the portfolio that um, you know, that we enjoy. Uh, we don't need the money right now, so we just allow these to pay and and uh, and make more more dividends on the next quarter. And uh, uh, one in particular here is the monthly dividend payer in Realty Income Core. Um, this is just a, a money generating juggernaut for me in the portfolio. It's doing everything that I ask it to do. It's interesting that the two REITs pay at the same time. Uh, you know, Realty Income is going to pay every month. WP Carry is is not. Thought I saw it on the list here. I did, and that's a nice one. That's a quarterly dividend payout. Um, so don't don't be confused as to why that's a much grander amount. This is every quarter. Uh, with the 5394 payout and then the realty income I, I own a significantly larger position in but this is monthly so this is this is an awesome awesome payout um, it's 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 nice to see that and they, they generate a nice um, tax uh, protected dividend within uh, the respective Roths I have these split up between the two main Roth accounts so pretty exciting stuff there um, I don't write contracts against my real estate stuff for the sheer purpose of I don't want to lose the shares, number one. Number two is I don't think the premium is really that nice on uh, uh, real estate REITs. So my, my realty income core position means a lot more to me than, you know, trying trying to pick a strike price out and, and getting paid a couple dollars of premium. Honestly, it's just not very worth it to give up on the on the fat dividend. That means more to me than anything. Um, so that's the real estate aspect to hear a nice payout back in January. Um, very, very nice, close to $90 on that payout. Uh, Cisco is one that I have a, a contract written on. This is a nice dividend. Um, this contract I wrote uh, a little bit longer term. 
Um, if it sells, I'll just buy the stock back. It's no big deal. Um, but uh, big tech here and a nice long, large position pays a nice dividend. Always has. Cisco's a nice dividend stock. Uh, 4482 on the quarter for Cisco I'll go in and buy, buy me more shares there uh, and then the two cent stocks they pay out at the same time here with Altria group here the domestic uh, offering here and then uh, Philip Morris for the international domestic since uh, since stock market um, fat dividend payouts there you know close to a six percent yield on Philip Morris close to a seven percent yield on, on Philip Morris or Altria group so you can see here, man, the, these really do embolden that dividend income and, and really boost up the bottom line there. Merck, a nice $20 dividend. I'll take it. That's great. Um, that's uh, one of my two big health care names in, in, in my Roth. Uh, and that'll go back into the underlying security. No problem there. And, 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 and then the, finally to round out the list here is my three big staples here in Pepsi, Kimberly, Clark, and Walmart. Walmart doesn't yield a whole heck of a lot here, but I don't really have a huge position in Walmart either. Um, I do love the company. I really do. I think I'll probably gather more capital appreciation out of that name than I will dividend income, which is totally fine. So that's where the 1350 comes in. Um, Pepsi's a long holding to me, a completely different on this one. This is, this is fantastic. I, I think this was knocking on the door to be a dividend king. If I'm not mistaken, it's it's paid for a while. It's a healthy aristocrat at the least, uh, and Kimberly Clark absolutely on that dividend uh, aristocrat. It may be a king as well. I'm not really sure. I don't track that stuff very often, but Kimberly Clark is one of those that we're going to own for the long term. So I thought you guys would appreciate the update there. Uh, again, for the month of January, starting in the new year, 2021. Uh, for 2045 was the renderings uh, off of the portfolio for for January so hope you appreciated that guys we'll kick you back and uh, we'll conclude the video all right guys so we've come out of the dividend review not too shabby <laughs> these are dollars that are earned while I'm doing other stuff um, that's the secret sauce of wealth building that's the secret sauce of getting ahead financially to be honest with you is you can't always work your way to success You've got to strategically understand how to branch out and give your money a chance to work for you, as I've done in each of these holdings. Now, I typically roll these out and give a review once a month. I was doing it a little more periodically. I thought it was a little much. Um, so I've digressed and I do this once a month. It gives a nice picture on, on how much the renderings fluctuate. Um, some months I, I, I really do really well. This was kind of a um, kind of a, a light month with the amount of renderings that were paid from the holdings. No problem. I mean, I, it is what it is. I, I, um, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that can relate with, uh, maybe seeking out an extra $400 shoot, man, an extra hundred dollars for me is a big deal. So for 400, yeah, I'll take it. I just throw it on the pile. Anyway, I don't need the money. I don't invest because I need the money. I invest because it's the right thing to do. If you guys appreciate the message coming through, I'm going to make sure and hit the subscribe button. And I guess the notification bell helps you as well. You can do that if you want. That'd be awesome. Leave your comments at the bottom. Share the video out there with anybody that uh, may be looking to seek dividend income, uh, basic investing strategies, uh, you know, a basic introduction to the stock market. They get it all here on the Independent Investor Channel. No doubt about that. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future.